So, tell me, uh, Mr. Orloff, how long have you been a Jaden Dwinner impersonator? Ever since I've been a Jaden Dwinner. How else do you want me to live on a teacher's salary? Oh, sorry. I thought that was a rhetorical question. Not but every educator I know does celebrity impersonations of the weekend. You, you do anyone else? Some other styles? Yeah, I do lounge, country, blues, mariachi, and, of course, rap. You rap? Yeah, I'm pretty good. It's in my blood. I rhyme all the time. Shouldn't you be teaching school? Oh, in the tragic moments of my life, I find comfort in a good cake. And what can I get you? Or well, perhaps the same. I'll take both. I was hoping to get one of those for myself. Well, you should have spoken up then, shouldn't you? I can't speak up because you terrify me. What? I said I can't speak up because you terrify me. Thank you. You know, just for that, you can have one of my cakes. Well, that's very nice of you. Maybe we could share it. Oh, don't push it. Jimmy J! Well, hello, hello! I'm Bienvenue and Mushy Mushy! We're here to hear the hit from the hop, and don't you stop until you reach the top! We're gonna shake the boogie, honey, and let the good times rock and hop, so shake it up, baby! Future generations will be equally convinced that they will be immune from the defects which assail the negotiators of Paris. Yet they, in their turn, will be exposed to similar microbes of infection. To the eternal inadequacy of human intelligence. The whereabouts of Alphonse... Pierre <sighs> Alfonso of Naples is still at large. We have reason to believe that he infected his own city with the pestilence that plagues it. Oh, how could that concern us? Hmm? But your holiness invested King Charles with the... Pianissimo. It's all right. 